Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Working with uh, trauma, um, does a person have to become aware and present to actual events and allow themselves to be with God in the memory of that event, or is it also possible to truly heal, heal trauma without being conscious and and present in the memory, but present with God? I think so. I think Allah is the one that heals trauma. And again, if you successfully and completely release the charge, and that's why the exercise we were doing, you know, the, <laughs> that is, it's expressing, you know, and some people do dhikr, you know, you're familiar with it. Some of you, anybody not familiar with the dhikr, the hadra? <laughs> the, it's, it's remembering Allah or calling on Allah by various things, Allah or al-hayu, hay, hay. <laughs> or, you know, when that's done with the entire being, from the bottoms of feet, that's part of the point, the whole system takes part of it. It is a beautiful trauma therapy. And all of the study one makes of the trauma therapy points to the effectiveness of this practice, in fact. So, yes, and it's also possible for Allah to heal it without you even realizing it. But Allah's mercy also comes in the form of therapies, you know, and learning that contains, you know, p that happens to us at, with these pieces of, like I say, tracking, felt sense. But tracking the felt sense can also make your dhikr stronger. Can make your recitation of Quran so much more, too. Okay. If you learn how to stand, like I was saying, and you practice this after a while, you can find that you, your standing becomes a much more, I mean, that's part of our practice. Part of our practice of acceptance and submission to Allah is simply standing. Not doing anything but stand. I mean, that is a part of, but to really fully experience that. Not to be caught up in the idea of it, or to be you know, distracted in thinking about something completely different, to be really totally present in that. You know, I say to people that you probably could release trauma if you really fully and completely experience the act of making two or three steps really fully experience what that is, the whole process of it, of the nervous, because it's a very complex, beautiful action. And in that action is contained the, the recognition, really, if you're aware of it, of the beauty of Allah's creation. It contains hamd, shuk, it contains all of these things that, in fact, can be spiritual, spiritual healing, but physiological healing as well. So absolutely, you can release it all kinds of ways. And it's Allah's business. You know, Allah is the healer. I love the story about the man who, you know, he was blind and he got struck by lightning and he could see. I mean, that, that happens somewhere. That, you know, you read these things in the newspaper, but Allah, it happens all the time. And then a 